Welcome to the latest in auto. Welcome to Highway Herald. In this edition, we dive into the most compelling stories shaping the industry today. We'll explore the devastating fire at a lithium battery plant in South Korea, new tariffs affecting Chinese EVs and global brands, Niobolt's groundbreaking fast charging battery, Tesla's ongoing Cybertruck recalls, Rivian's significant investment from Volkswagen, and Warren Buffett's strategic shift away from BYD amid escalating trade tensions. Get ready for deep insights and expert analysis. Number six, tragedy strikes, fire at lithium battery plant in South Korea, claims 22 lives. The fire at a lithium battery factory near Seoul on Monday resulted in one of South Korea's deadliest incidents in recent years, killing 22 workers, most of whom were migrant laborers from China. The blaze, which broke out in a factory owned by Aracel and Huaxiang, about 28 miles south of Seoul, led to extensive search and rescue operations. Officials are still looking for one missing worker, uncertain if they were in the building during the fire. Among the casualties were 18 Chinese migrants, one worker from Laos, and two South Koreans. Two individuals suffered serious injuries, while six others had minor injuries. Kim Jin Young from the Huaxiang Fire Department reported that 102 workers were present when the fire erupted. The victims were found on the second floor, where toxic smoke and flames quickly spread, making escape nearly impossible. The temporary migrant workers, likely unfamiliar with the factory layout, were quickly overcome by the dense smoke, according to senior fire official Zhou Sian Ho. The incident highlights the significant presence of Chinese migrant workers in South Korea who make up a substantial portion of the country's temporary workforce. Number 5. Impact of new tariffs on Chinese EVs reverberates across global markets. The Biden administration's new tariffs aim to level the playing field but impact established brands. Chinese-built vehicles with lower production costs than those in higher-wage countries attract U.S. and European manufacturers to China due to proximity to the lucrative Chinese market. These tariffs offset this advantage, increasing import costs. Specifically targeting Chinese-made EVs, they aim to prevent cheap electric cars from undermining domestic EV plants, affecting non-Chinese companies manufacturing in China. While no Chinese manufacturers sell cars in the U.S., brands like Volvo, Polestar, and Lotus import Chinese-built vehicles. The tariffs focus on EVs, batteries, and minerals, excluding non-electric imports like the Buick Envision and Lincoln Nautilus. Volvo's X30 made in China faces delays, possibly due to these tariffs. Polestar 3 may also be affected. The Chinese-built Mini Cooper E sees delays, contrasting with the on-scheduled German-built Mini Countryman EV. Further delays for China-made EVs could follow. Before we delve deeper, we'd appreciate it if you could subscribe to Highway Herald. Your support fuels our passion to create more content like this. Now let's explore number four. Niobolt's game-changing fast-charging battery sets new standards. Neobolt's EV prototype has undergone real-world testing at Millbrook with impressive results. The 35 kilowatt-hour battery charges from 10 to 80 percent in just 4 minutes and 37 seconds and offers a lifetime range of 600,000 miles. Achieved using a 350 kilowatts charge point, these are rare in the UK, but the first 4 minutes maintain a constant 500 amp current, delivering 120 miles of range. The battery uses a mix of carbon and metal oxide anode materials, low impedance cell design, and advanced electronics and software to maximize power density and minimize degradation. After 4,000 fast charge cycles, the battery retains 80% of its health. Niobolt's co-founder, Dr. Sai Shivaretti, explains that their low impedance cells ensure peak charge levels are maintained longer, extending the battery's life up to 600,000 miles. The Elise-based prototype weighs just 1,250 kilograms and offers an official range of 155 miles. Although only 1,000 units are planned for low-volume production in 2025, it's a promising start. Number 3. Tesla's Cybertruck faces fourth recall due to trim and wiper issues. Tesla is recalling its futuristic Cybertruck for the fourth time in the U.S. to address issues with trim pieces and windshield wipers. According to documents posted by the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration on Tuesday, more than 11,000 trucks are affected by each recall. The company stated that the front windshield wiper motor controller can fail due to receiving excessive electrical current. A malfunctioning wiper reduces visibility, increasing the risk of accidents, though Tesla reports no crashes or injuries from this issue. Tesla will replace the wiper motor for free, with owners being notified by letter on August 18th. 
The other recall concerns a trim piece along the truck bed that can come loose and potentially fly off, posing a hazard to other drivers. The trim piece, installed with adhesive, may not have been properly affixed at the factory. Tesla will replace or rework this trim piece, with notifications also sent out on August 18th. This marks the fourth recall for the Cybertruck since it went on sale on November 30th. Number 2. Rivian secures $5 billion investment from Volkswagen, shares surge 40%. Volkswagen is investing up to $5 billion in Rivian, making it the second legacy automaker to back the California-based EV startup. The investment begins with $1 billion initially and expects an additional $4 billion by 2026. $1 billion annually in 2025 and 2026, plus $2 billion for a joint venture in electrical architecture and software. Despite Rivian's shares closing at $11.96, down 49% in 2024, they surged 40% in after-hours trading following the announcement. Volkswagen's initial investment will be a convertible note, potentially converting to Rivian shares from December 1st. Rivian will detail this partnership in a Tuesday 6 p.m. ET investor call. Ford Motor previously held a stake but exited in 2023, halting joint development. This move comes as automakers adjust strategies amidst slower EV adoption. Rivian is cutting costs, retooling its Illinois plant, and pausing Georgia factory construction, saving over $2.25 billion. Despite a $1.45 billion Q1 loss, Rivian ended March with $7.86 billion in cash and short-term investments. Number 1. Warren Buffett's Berkshire Hathaway reduces stake in BYD amid trade tensions. Warren Buffett's Berkshire Hathaway has continued reducing its stake in BYD amid escalating trade tensions over Chinese EVs. On June 11, Berkshire sold 1.35 million Hong Kong-listed BYD shares, lowering its stake from 7.02% to 6.9%. This marked Berkshire's first significant sale in 10 months, and its 14th since August 2022, influenced by BYD's record high in June 2022. China's dominant EV market position, backed by subsidies, raised trade war concerns. The EU imposed additional tariffs, including a 17.4% levy on BYD EVs, prompting Beijing to threaten an anti-dumping probe on EU pork. In May, the Biden administration raised tariffs on Chinese EV imports to 100%. Founded by Wang Chuanfu, BYD surpassed Tesla as the largest EV seller last year. Berkshire's $230 million investment in 2008 has seen shares rise from 8 Hong Kong dollars to 331.4 Hong Kong dollars in June 2022. Since August 2022, Berkshire sold about 149 million BYD shares, holding 75.7 million shares valued at 17.6 billion Hong Kong dollars. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the latest developments in the automotive industry. Don't forget to subscribe to Highway Herald for more updates and insightful analyses on the future of vehicles. See you next time.